So my car is not starting. What is the deal? So I've been um, at this parking lot for like the last 45 minutes trying to get my car to start. Um, I've cranked it like 20 times every which way, shaking the key every which way, trying to you know, get the car to start, but nothing. Um, it won't turn over. And, uh, you know, I, I'm thinking at this point that um, it's... Okay, so basically, let me tell you guys what I did as far as trying to diagnose this. Um, okay, this situation here, um, every, all the lights on my dash are on. Battery, my, my, um, my, uh, my radio works. Um, the blow motor works, I know. I'm, I'm not getting anything out of it, AC-wise, but the blow motor works. So, so I went out. When this happened, like I tried it like five times, nothing happened. So like maybe it's a dead battery. I went out, um, or, or a weak battery. I went out, look at the looked at the headlights, turn the headlights on. All right, this is at nighttime. It's night, it's night, it's nighttime right now, um, and the headlights are strong. So everything works. The headlights are strong. Um, I don't think that it's the battery. So I I'm I'm pretty sure it's not the alternator because. Um, I've had alternators die out on me, and normally I, it dies out when the car is on. Like, I'm, I'm driving on the road, all of a sudden my car shuts down because the alternator is not charging the battery, and the battery uh, is dead. The car dies. You won't be able to turn it on. But that's not the situation here because um, my car is not running when it died out. You know, right now, you know, like 45 minutes ago when I got in here, uh, my car is parked for like about an hour, so that's the difference in it. So it's not it's not the alternator. So as far as the battery is concerned, I had somebody put cables. I asked somebody to uh, help me out with the jump, because uh, you can never be too sure, you know, as far as this situation is concerned. I was hoping that was the battery. I was crossing my finger it was the battery, or some uh, issue that's that's not the starter. So I put cables on the battery, and I get nothing at all. Well, basically, I get the same thing. Uh, lights on the dash are not working. Um, the, I'm sorry, the lights on the dash are working. It's the same. It's the same scenario. Lights on the dash are working. Uh, everything else works, you know. And and we had it charged up for like, was charging it for like um, about a minute or two before I started, just in case the battery was like absolutely dead. But nothing. And uh, normally, if, if it was like really weak, the battery. You would still hear like a really, you know, a really weak crank, but you could, but I didn't hear any weak cranks coming from from it at all. It was like click, click. Every time, every time I was trying to turn it on, I was like click, click, click. You know, it was a like one click. I mean, every time I tried to turn it on, it was just one click. So at that point, I was like, it's not the battery, it's not the alternator. What else could it be? It could be the fuse, or it could be um, a relay, some electric, some something that's happening where. The starter is not uh, charged. It's, it's not. Um, there's a broken connection between um, the, the 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 battery and and the uh, the starter. But I don't I don't think it's the relay. I'm gonna rule out the relay because I could hear a click. I could I could hear a faint click when I try to start it. Normally, when you hear a faint click or, or click when you try to start it, it's because it's because um, there is power going to to the, um, the 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 starter. It's power going to the starter, and you're hearing a click, but the motor's not running. All right. Um, sometimes it's a battery that's real low. You will hear a click. The same situation, but we tested out the battery, so that's not the case. I don't think it's a relay because there is power going there. So it could be. There is a slight possibility that it could be the fuse, but. I'm not 100% sure about that. I don't think so because, um, because um, I've had situations where the fuse, uh, a, a fuse that has a connection to the car starting, uh, starting issues. Um, there was a fuse that <clears throat> the, the two situations that I've had as far as the fuse is concerned is um, a one one time I had a dead fuse that was a main fuse and I had nothing on the dash at all, nothing on the dash, no electricity was working in, inside the car as if the battery was taken off, um, you know, off the, the cable was taken off the battery. That's not the case here. Um, 
you know, all the electricity works. So the other scenario was um, I had a car where um, I would try to turn the car on. It cranks. It cranks up. Um, you know, it starts for about a second and died. Well, it didn't, you know, it, it died out immediately as, as soon as it uh, cranked over. So that's another situation. Um, this is not the case because it's not cranking at all. There's no cranking at all. So that's not the case. So I don't think it's either of those two situations. I'm pretty sure at this point it is um, the starter. Um, I could definitely test it out with a line going to one of the terminals of the starter and the solenoid. Connect those two. I'm not going to do it. <clears throat> B, um, I could probably take a um, a crowbar and, and and try like and try to just you know knock on start. I'm I'm not going to do it. I don't have a crowbar, um, and uh, I've done it before, and a lot of times it just doesn't work. <clears throat> it doesn't uh, do anything. A lot of times, if this is the situation, um, if, if this is the situation, a lot of times um, the um, the starter is like a hundred percent, like, like I had the same issue before, like a couple of times, and um, it was just the starter going out at this point, and it just died out on me because I tried about fifteen to twenty times and nothing happened. So, but um, um, I'll keep you guys updated. Hey guys, what's up? So it's the next day. Uh, I did get the starter replaced. I had a feeling it was the starter. And uh, I, I didn't do any of the testing of the starter. I, you know, the other testing as far as putting wires to it and stuff like that. I had, like, I was like 99 percent sure it was a starter, knowing what I know about this car and the issues that I had uh, previously over the last uh, couple of months. It, it kind of did the same thing. I've had, I have, I've had situations where I had cars that did the same thing. So, but basically, it was the starter. I got swapped out. It works perfect. Every time I turn the key, everything, uh, you know, it works every time. Um, I, you know, every time it, it, it's turned on, it works. So, all right, guys, um, if you guys are watching this, if you guys are watching this, um, guys, please give me a thumbs up. If you guys want to leave some comments, please leave some comments and please subscribe, guys. All right, take care.